Hey guys, so today it should be short and sweet. I have a leftover sort of preparation from um, another pour that I did and I'm going to pour it on this 12 by 12 um, used and washed off canvas as an experiment. I have some light blue, some dark blue, some uh, perwinkle and some white mix which is satin enamels and artist loft. And I just fell upon this metallic pinkish color. I'm just following my gut here and I'm putting a bit of it in. I don't know, I'm not sure if it's going to ruin everything because this is um, Americana from Decorart and it has a tendency to take over. Now, what else? I think I'm going to add some more of the crazy white. <laughs> Is that its new name? The Crazy White? And then we need contrast. And a base for the pour. So the color on top is the base. There. A ton. The base is what helps the paint flow and it helps you position your final result. Base down. Oh damn, look in the cup. What's happening? paint is just the right consistency. It's perfect consistency actually. I'm just stretching it out. Boom. Let's go for it. Boom. 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 Oh, I hadn't done one of these in so long. <gasps> it's so pretty. Happy eyeballs. Dude, I've had so much coffee and I've done so many paintings this morning. It's 9 a.m. And like, you guys have no idea how much stuff has been done already for me like vacuuming laundry this is like my fourth painting oh damn i'm gonna go wash my hands and i'll leave the camera on for a while to see how much this changes so pretty i'm back this is about half an hour later this is stunning. My eyeballs are happy. I'm glad that the white didn't react too much and that it didn't spread everywhere. It's, it's pretty perfect for me actually. <laughs> and the lines are gorgeous. And we got some metallic, a nice center. I mean, God. You see that reaction there? That is from the Americana Deco Art little bottles there. Totally recognize that a million miles away. Gorgeous. I'm happy I did this. I'm happy I tried. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. Stay tuned for the dried result. Back with the final result. This is spray varnished with my PBO satin spray varnish that I've been using for 
years now. A lot of people ask me. It's the same one as in my How to Spray Varnish a Painting um, video. And I love how it just reflects a little bit. The only difference is that light blue is much lighter in reality. Here, it's more of a cyan. Personally, this is such a perfect composition for me. Like, in my opinion, gosh, I love the colors and everything. Now, if only it was as easy as this to produce on a much larger canvas. I've tried and I've tried and I won't stop trying again. All right, hope you guys like this. Have a good one.